Episode yeah, 50. I didn't know that. You mean five zero? You mean people have listened to you for 50 podcasts? Yes, yes, they have. That's and you know what? And and it's growing, and people are enjoying them, and they are learning, and they are asking for more. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, may, maybe we can deliver or, something today. Or, or so the marketing team tells me. <laughs> 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 yeah, so episode episode 50. So we thought we'd do we do something kind of fun today and and we would just kind of recap um the fact that uh, well what we do is we'd recap some of our favorite restaurants that we eat at when we're on the road, some of the some of the types of food that we like. Uh you know, and um and so I think probably of of all the three people in in the office that we are probably the three biggest food snobs. Would you would you all agree? That's that's a pretty fair statement. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't when I started here, but it didn't take long. No, we made fun of you enough that you became one. Yeah, probably my my favorite where I'm at now, and you know, and I'm, I'm a point uh, that that I've I've traveled around the country and tried different styles of barbecue. I I'm probably the most partial to the Texas style barbecue and the briskets. Uh, but I grew up in Arkansas on on pork barbecue, and largely on on usually you go it's a it's a pork barbecue sandwich, and mm-hmm. it's usually got slaw on it. Okay, yeah, that that's uh, that's what I grew up on. And there's a little place in in Stuttgart, Arkansas called Kibbs. Uh, they actually have a couple locations there. There's Kibbs One and Kibbs Two. Ooh. <laughs> I'm partial to Kibbs too. Okay, okay. Now, uh, now Kibbs too is in. So you a, don't even need a marketing company. <laughs> you don't yeah. even need a marketing department, guys. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. The the smoke does the marketing for you. Right. Yeah. When when you drive down the street and you can see the smoke rolling out of the old nasty block building, you know you're in the right part of town. Yeah. So so that, that's that's a really good point. One of the things that that. Um, that when I walk up to a barbecue place, if if I can't smell smoke, it doesn't even have to be fresh smoke. If you just can't smell smoke, I'm, I get a little bit leery. Right, yeah. right. And and there there are outliers that, that I have learned. Uh, mm-hmm. There are parts of the mm-hmm. country we go, we get good barbecue, and it may come out of a strip mall, and may come out of a a, a nice building. When you get into the south. And places that I grew up, the good barbecue comes out of the questionable looking establishments. Not just questionable, flat out sketchy. Yeah. Flat out, flat yeah. out sketchy. And and there are there are exceptions to that. But but you're right. Yeah. So uh Wiley's in yeah. in uh, Coach in, Wiley. Coach in Wiley's Lubbock. in Lubbock, you know. And uh, you wanna talk about bars on the window, block building, there's four or five old grills and, and smokers hanging out in the back there and Man, you walk in there and that is good barbecue, and you get it on a paper plate. Yep, yep. You know, and uh, it's not even—it's more like one of those shiny foam plates. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? <laughs> right. You know, and it comes. You know, like the cheaper of the cheap <laughs> paper <laughs> yeah. plates. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the ones you can't oh. microwave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The ones you can't microwave. You ain't microwaving that thing. That sucker. <laughs> that sucker melt up and burn, burn <laughs> yeah. down. You know, yeah. <laughs> which means they probably spend a little extra on the brisket. Oh man, but. Yeah, yeah, they're usually like, or they're in like a uh, like one of those portable buildings, like an Amarillo. When I was down there last time, and the guy I was with was like, "Hey, you want some uh, brisket tacos for breakfast?" I'm like, do I? Bris- like, you know, brisket for breakfast out of a like basically a portable building. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was just something somebody had bought and set well, up well, off the side of the highway. Well, you know, speaking of that, tacos, the the little house of tacos around here, little little yeah, portable right out of a building, por- and awesome. And, and so you know. So that's not very far from here, right? You know, and um, and Five so minutes. yeah, and, and so that's you know that's that's some of the that's some really good good authentic Mexican food. Yeah, absolutely, right out of right out of right out of a cook from a building.